we sometimes have to burn some bridges to advance forward. Hello and welcome again to Dumi's Daily Grind. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you are doing well. My name is Dumi and my journey began on the 13th of October 2021. As always, here I talk about spiritual growth, mental health issues, sobriety, relapses and spiritual well-being, focusing mainly on the daily work, the grind that goes into finding peace of mind and contentment. Today I'm talking about how it is okay sometimes to burn some bridges in order to advance. I choose this topic because I always heard people say things like, don't burn bridges, you'll be surprised how many times you have to cross the same river, or careful not to burn bridges, you just might need to cross back, or my favorite, the bridges you burn today will be the bridges you'll need tomorrow. There are many more quotes I can mention here. However, I would like to focus on the importance of understanding that, especially in recovery, it is okay to let go of people, places, and things that are not positive for your recovery. The value in ensuring that we live an ethical life, treating others as well as we would like to be treated and respected is paramount. The advice on not burning bridges is always a solid one. However, some bridges are really unstable, they are broken, and they may even kill us, and those need to be burnt, as they will cause harm and may interfere with your recovery. When I chose the change and embarked on the journey to recovery, the fog started dissipating, and I started to see clearly what was going on around me. The things I would have to let go of and the things that I will have to keep. This process happens regularly as I move from one step to the next. I take this advice to heart and always consider the pros and cons of every relationship, every environment I may need to enter into or anything I have to keep. It is important though that my dreams and goals are clearly written down and I know where I would like to see myself being within a specific period of time. So I ask myself this important question every time. What is my goal? How does this element fit into it? Will this environment, this person or this thing contribute positively or negatively? Will I learn values, valuable skills if I go ahead with this or with that? I have had to really consider letting go of some friends. I have had to stop going to certain places and have definitely had to get rid of some things that would trigger my bad habits. We all have these people. I might be one of yours currently and if so, then I hand you a lit match and permission to burn that bridge. If I am a toxic friend or a family member, then go ahead and burn it. On this point, another related quote I saw once said, Don't burn the bridge with me and expect me to send you a boat. Well, I have sent a few boats to people who burnt bridges that linked to me a few times before, and I will encourage that this option be always present, especially when the people who are burning these bridges with us are going through life's difficulties such as addiction, alcoholism, or mental health-related experiences. Sending the boat purely means accepting you for who you are, the decisions you are making, and the mistakes you have made. But if someone has decided in a sober and clear mind that this bridge is not fit for their current journey, then that person has the right to burn it and not look back. Some circumstances I think may be good examples that could justify letting go are toxic people who are manipulative, selfish, or who simply do not want to see the advancement of others. People who may resist your recovery or those who cannot handle your new future. Some of these we can simply walk away from without actually burning the bridge down at all as they are not as severe as others. 
Burning a bridge ensures that we do not have an escape route backward towards old habits when times get tough and do not compromise on our recovery. People who constantly lie to you, cheat, who take and never give, people who influence you into doing illegal dealings, people who abuse you and those you see regularly abusing others, people who do not have your best interests at heart, do not have the fear or doubt to cross that bridge. Pour some petrol, light it up and never look back. You will be creating space for new bridges to be built that are more in line with your goals to staying clean, sober and at peace. With the least amount of drama as possible. In closing, I would like to really summarize how the journey begins. When something deep inside you makes you realize that it is time for you to change and you decide to listen and start the journey toward change, a few things have to happen. First, a decision is made. Second, you get rid of all those things that will make your journey more difficult. All the baggage you may have been carrying all along and ask for help. Join a support group with like-minded people who can relate to you and you can relate to. Do what is suggested and take that leap. The results will be absolutely amazing if we just stick to it and work the program that is given to us freely. Do it, it is worth it. Thank you for your time, your support and being with me on this journey to finding serenity. If you enjoy listening to me, please do not forget to subscribe and let your friends, your family and your tribe know that they can also join me on this journey toward finding serenity and some peace of mind. Until I see you next time, stay well and God bless you and keep you safe today. I wish you the wisdom and the strength to intuitively know when a specific bridge needs to be burnt in order for you to advance closer to your goals, no matter what they are.